Yo, what is going on guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're picking off here, um, we, uh, in the last episode I think we were taming an angler, uh, and I haven't gone on the metal run, or the pro run yet, that's kind of, uh, what I'm on my way to do now, but while I was down in the ab zone, I put down a congeal, or a gas collector the first time I was down there when I tamed an angler. And we kind of just went and grabbed all the gas balls that were in there. So we're going to make up a bunch of uh, mushroom soups, I think they're called, or something like that. Because on the Discord I read, I think we're missing something. No, we're not. Okay. So on the Discord, the admin just announced that he made Reapers tameable down in the ab zone. So I'm 99% sure... I've tried I've tried it before a couple of times and Reapers did spawn down there, but they weren't tameable. But apparently the admin said he made them tameable. So I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, it could be bugged out. I don't I don't think he's tried it. He just said that they are down there and they're possible to tame. So that's kind of going to be our mission after we go on a pro run here. We're going to make up a bunch of these uh, mushroom soups and go down there in the rad zone and try to find a reaper. Um, again, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be bugged out because, to my knowledge, they're not tameable because they're uh, aberration exclusive and usually anything that's not uh, or that is exclusive to a certain map. They are not tameable on maps they're not exclusive to. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see if that works. And if you guys are seeing footage of that, then I guess it works. Um, our gigas are doing pretty well. They're at about 18%. Our manas are getting there, too. Um, they're up to little over halfway so yeah we got a few more incubating but um yeah i suppose i'll bring you guys back if uh we happen to manage to tame a reaper or find one all right guys so we came down to the rad zone and actually we found a reaper almost immediately it is uh 95 um this is a uh, admin trap he put here at the entrance just so people wouldn't have you know crazy amounts of uh you know stone structures down there so nobody you know people don't like to clean up their their mess so he decided to make a trap for everybody to use at the entrance of the rad zone here which is uh, pretty nice that way you know you don't have to worry about kiting it somewhere and people's structures that they didn't clean up everywhere but we're going to try this um, I just got the mantis here just for pretty much DPS purpose um, and I think maybe the if it does work I think the wyvern would be kind of a little janky to be pulled off of um, it is a 95 uh, nothing too crazy it's the first one that I Came across, it was actually pretty close to the entrance. So, here's hoping that, uh, here's hoping that it works. Um, we are doing a lot of damage with this pike. This is almost a cat pike, so, and this is an imprinted mantis. So, uh, yeah, we got almost 900, or yeah, 900 melee with a 610 pike. There we go. And we died with all damage. Alrighty guys, it is time. We got our Reaper, we got it leveled. Um, we're obviously not going to do the uh, method of 
Well, I don't think unless it. I don't. I don't know if it's going to be able to kill us. Um, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, so be it. But um, it would be nice if it did, but. I didn't plan on it killing us for one, our health, and two, um, I didn't have time to uh, grab any um, Reaper gland to come in here, so it's fine. I'll just sit here for a minute and feed it. If it decides to kill me, it does. If not, if, I don't think it's going to now, but... Our health stat was probably too high to begin with. And uh, we were actually in a rush to get here because it was only, I think, like 15 minutes I had to level and run back and grab my my body and my uh, wyvern and mantis. So we were kind of pressed for time and even setting this thing up, I barely got in this room. So, oh, maybe he will. I don't think he's going to at this rate. We're probably just going to sit in here until he's uh, juvie or I'll just uh, cryo him up. But yeah, we got a Reaper. Um, 32k health. Uh, I think that's slightly, uh, slightly boosted. But we got a Reaper. So that's pretty cool. It, apparently it does work. So it was it was kind of kind of wonky. I think it was mostly the trap that was set up but we know it works so it's all that matters alrighty guys so we're back uh, as you can see we've made some progress here we finally finished this ugly ugly piping man that was a pain to do um, we got our gigas up there uh, our breeding ones and then we got this kind of turret I guess chandelier tower thing set up here um, not anything too too crazy uh, you just got these on all targets because uh, they don't actually take fertilizer so they're super cool uh, we get we got about 2k bullets and those um, these gigas are getting there 70% I got the manas they're about ready to pop in like 10 seconds. So yeah, we're gonna uh, check those out and see if we uh, see if we get anything. I just brought up the gigas um, after I lined them all up there. Uh, for some reason, these things all shoot out this way. 230 is pretty much like our our base. So. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we got any mutations, but these will all be um, kind of ones I cruise around on and uh, not too too worried about losing them. So yeah, they all they all should have the exact same stats. They're all 230. Um, we got a couple more females too. So we got two more females. Whoops, didn't mean to toss the old bulb dog. Um, so I'll probably actually throw them in the line too and try to get uh, some more babies pop so we can. Um, I'm trying to think and do too much at the same time. Uh, so we can try to get mutations. We're not having really any luck. Anything I've bred, I've bred a lot of stuff today. I think I've raised uh, like. These will be the ace. Well, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, like the ace manas I've raised today. Um, the gigas behind me, those are the fourth and fifth I've raised today. Because, like I said, I think it takes for a giga, it's like three and a half hours or something. But the uh, gestation and then the cooldown timer is only an hour. Alrighty guys, so a little backstory. My audio corrupted on this clip, but 
Um, I brought over a bunch of bug repellent and uh, deathworm horns, and the plan is to tame as many as we can in uh, the amount of time we have with bug repellent, and we're going to try to get a better breeding line for our mantis. Well, boys, it has been a minute. This is the last mantis. We're all out of bug repellent, and we're all out of horns. So, uh, yeah, been a, been a while, um, I said I was going to tame 20, and I tamed 20. The lowest one I tamed was a 130, and, uh, yeah, this is kind of, uh, the graveyard here. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're thinking, ah, maybe he tamed like 10 or 15, I tamed 20. Non-stop. <laughs> and, uh... I came to the conclusion... They're all crap. Every one of them. It is so difficult... To get a good Mantis. It is unreal. This is the best one I got. And it's one level better in melee, and two levels better than in health. And I tamed 20. The lowest one was... A 130 and it was that one right there I mean you can look at some of these stats I ha the one I have is 2145 and the melee is 232 I mean and they're they're just terrible all of them this one has one higher melee also. Um, there, this event color one's pretty cool though. But it's probably got, yeah, it's got terrible stats. Um, so yeah. Moral of the story is, uh, if you find a good mantis, you're uh, lucky, or I'm very unlucky because, yeah. Apparently the first two I got were the best two I was going to find, minus, I, I don't know, I, one point in the melee and two points in the health. Is that worth it? I mean, that's that's like 26, 26 points in the melee and like 31 in the health, 32 in the health. So now I'm going to sit here for the next half an hour of my life and unclaim all of these and kill them all. But uh, I figured I'd show you guys. Um, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up, though. Uh, we we did make some progress today, minus all this nonsense. You know, we bred a lot of stuff and uh, got a lot of stuff raised up. So, and some defenses up. But, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like for me. Subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one.